But here are some messages from what happened. And it seems like Takeoff really had nothing to do with it. It actually was Quavo. Bro, it's crazy. Every time we start off a new month, somebody, most likely a rapper, is getting shot or you know what I'm saying? And at this point, I'm just like, it is just not making no sense. I think, honestly, I'm going to start a series diving in to what happened to these rappers when they got off. Do you feel what I'm saying? Because this don't make no sense. So if you guys have been on your phone lately today, take off from the Migos. You know what I'm talking about? Man, I'm Uji. Was shot and killed this morning. At like two something in the morning I saw a little bit of it but then for some reason I had to sit down and just make a video you know saying so now that I got my channel back and I can make videos when I hear something like this happen I low-key kind of feel like what, what were you doing you know you got all this money all this fame you get spotted easily people are gonna know who you are what were you doing and then sometimes I'd be thinking like you know I'd be doing music here and there at any point in time I could become a famous rapper anything I gotta be smart, look at my surroundings, know what's really going on, cause this is really crazy. We finna dive into this, and we go see what really happened. I got my computer right here, and we finna look at everything that has happened. Yes, Rodney J. Johnson, the kid, RJ, Rodney J, whatever you wanna call me, we're back on the tube. Back to do some different stuff. Back to actually be where we should be at, if that makes sense, so bear with me. I'm gonna be dropping a lot of videos over this course month. My birthday is soon. Got a little countdown up there. Solo lifestyle dot shop. Solo lifestyle dot shop. As y'all can see, clothing brand been going crazy. I've been doing a lot of stuff off scene, off YouTube, but there's so much that you guys have to be caught up with. Right here, bro. I got my screen pulled up. You know what I'm saying? Look at this, bro. 26 minutes ago, six hours ago, 36 minutes ago, bro. He was only 28 years old. 28 not 30 not 40 28 he was still in his 20s with all this money all you know with this presence online and now it's gone just like that we lost what PNB what two three weeks ago maybe a month ago it's crazy Let, let's let's dive into this we going to dive into this right now. Rapper Takeoff from the group Migos is fatally shot during private party at Bowling Alley in downtown Houston. So, okay, I get it. Yesterday was Halloween. Okay, I mean, at least they were at a private party at a bowling alley. Now, obviously, somebody that was in that private party was out to get you, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Was out to get him, obviously. Let's, let's go ahead and sit. Okay, it says, Houston, an investigation is underway after rapper takeoff of the popular group Migos was fatally shot during a private party bullying down to Houston Tuesday. A representative of the group confirmed. Okay, so officers with the Houston Police Department and emergency officials with the Houston Fire Department responded to reports of a shooting at 810 Billards and Bowling located on 1201 San... Janisto, whatever you call it. But yeah, basically, so basically around, wait, around 2.40 a.m. See, like, and then, then I also think, what are you doing outside at 2.40 a.m.? But then again, 2.40 a.m. really isn't that late, especially if last night was Halloween, because I got lied to, I got invited to a lot of parties that I didn't go to. Just like, there's just no point, you know, on a Sunday or on a Monday. I was just like, I'm not going to be going to no Halloween party. Officers said when they arrived at the scene, they located a large crowd and a man with a gunshot wound to the head or neck. So maybe, okay, maybe it was the man, okay, wait, uh, the man who, who officers did not immediately identify was pronounced dead at the scene. So it wasn't... At the, you know, in the hospital or in the ambulance, it was outside, out there at that time. Now, my question is, obviously these rappers are obviously going around with all their jewelry and stuff on. Houston? Houston. Now, if it happened inside, if it happened inside of the bowling alley, you know, somebody in there was out to get, you know what I'm saying, get him. But, if it happened when he was like outside, probably by himself probably outside smoking, whatever the case may be, 
somebody probably trying to run up and take his stuff. Like I said, you're you're a popular person. You're known. You know, someone sees you. Oh, what the hell? Is that the? You know what I'm saying? Migo, wait, hold. Does that take off? Migo, wait, what the hell? What they doing over there? You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, Houston. Houston. I used to live in Houston. People used to tell me to be careful, like for real. And I'm not. I was nowhere near where y'all is at. Houston. I don't know. I guess I don't keep up with every rapper and you know all that stuff like that. Hold on, there's more information. So I don't know where. If they're normally out in Houston, they live in Houston. I know they're not from Houston, but I'm just saying they probably was just out there. You know what I'm saying? According. Hold on. For, okay, so it says. 40 to 50 people were at the location when the shooting took place. 40 to 50 people. The party reportedly ended at 1 a.m., but carried over until the incident occurred. So, the, okay, so I'm already seeing how this whole situation popped out. Because every time the club ends, the party ends, and there's nowhere else to go, everybody's outside. Everyone's chilling, cooling outside. You're in Houston, my boy. Do you know how many hating people is in Houston? What? And then on top of that, Houston. Big ass Houston. Cops is not going to be able to get to the scene. Whatever you call it, cops, whatever you want to do. They're not going to get there for a little minute. If, if anyone in here, anyone watch this video, any of y'all know, Houston is huge, bro. Huge. There is, like, I mean, literally, like, you know, so you call the cops, it's going to take a little good minute. Because how big Houston is. Um, it says, so, the party reportedly ended at 1 a.m. And when did when did this happen again? Was it 2.40? Okay, so an hour, basically almost two hours later. Two hours later. But carried over the incident. Investigators say they found multiple shells, casings, on the third level outside the Bowling and pool hall. Wait, whoa, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now I'm really like, this was a setup. Now I'm really like, this is really a setup, bro. This is really a setup. They found multiple shell casings on the third level. Okay, outside. Okay. I didn't know if the bowling alley or the bowling place was either downstairs somewhere or upstairs. So the bowling place was upstairs. And the shots in the multiple shell casings were also upstairs. So it wasn't no one shot. Multiple. So it could have been a shootout. During a press conference, police confirmed that group members Quavo and Takeoff were in attendance at the time of the shooting. Police said the security guards who were at the event heard the shooting but reportedly did not see who did it. Two additional victims were taken to nearby in private vehicles in an unknown condition. So it was a shootout. It was a shootout. And he must have just got hit. Police did not confirm. Police did confirm the victim is a black male in his 20s. A representative from the group confirmed the, vict the victim was takeoff. Damn, bro. So, the third level. So, here's the first level, second level, and then the third level. Third level is up here. Obviously, you're not allowed. You can't go up there. But this is where it's taking place. It, took place it's first of all and it was downtown houston so like as soon as i turned off the camera i was talking with my boy june in the discord and there's some more extra stuff that i missed this is crazy hold on i'm, I'm gonna tune in right now i ain't gonna be show you guys the actual video because you can really see takeoff laying on the ground blood and all which i don't understand how every time like people immediately get out their phones and start recording which is the sad part but here are some messages from what happened, and it seems like Takeoff really had nothing to do with it. It actually was Quavo, and it all was because of dice game. They were shooting, and it turned out to be some real shooting. I'm not, you know, saying I ain't trying to be funny, but for real. So look, this is the message right here. It says, "So Quavo was shooting dice, and he was getting his pockets broke. Basically, he was getting. You know what that means? If you shoot dice, you know what that means." And it said, "Hold on, go back to uh, broke off. It broke off so bad, had an attitude, and he tried." Getting aggressive with the wrong mob ties. So basically, he was shooting dice with somebody that was out there doing some shit for real, for real. As you can see, it says, not gonna drop the names. And dude got on his ass and 
then somebody they was with jumped up and that's when that's when everybody bunched up and then shots started ringing but they were coming from somebody the Migos were with so the shots started off first from people the Migos were with hold up and when everyone bunched up shots started ringing on the Migos okay uh shooting wild and hit takeoff on accident on accident now i want to i scroll down a little bit this message what popped out the most takeoff was the coolest quietest in the room the whole time the whole time and i can see it though i've never really seen takeoff really like he was always was the quiet one so i can't really see him getting up yelling getting aggressive so basically the video is right here i'm not gonna play the video or i'm gonna play the video i'm gonna blur it out where you guys can't even see it if you guys want to See it yourself. You guys can go look that up. Other than that, though, you know, so I'm not gonna put it in this video. But it says also Quavo was plexed up over some small shit. It really wasn't even worth it. So basically, Quavo was just mad. The whole thing that he was getting broke off. Shit started getting serious. Shots started getting exchanged, and takeoff was the one that got hit. Now here's the video right here. I'm gonna play it, but I'm gonna listen to it. But you guys can't see it. Oh, yeah, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I can't put this in the video yet for sure. Right now, Quavo is basically screaming over takeoff. Why are they trying to pick him up? I, I mean, I get that. But they try to pick him up by his legs and arms and like, what? Yeah, they try to pick him up and move him. But it's like, oh, my God, bro. Oh, man. And that was it, bro. Like I said, I can't really put the actual video, but the messages are right here on my left and my right. And as you guys can see, it all started because they were shooting dice. And what's the crazy part is, these niggas have so much money. You feel me? For him to even lose, let's say, 10K to shooting dice, whatever the case may be, and you all oh, this happened because of that, bro. It literally says, take off was a cool quad. He wasn't saying a word, just chilling in the cut. He didn't even know what was going on. He just jumped up and got shot out of nowhere. Houston, for sure, about to be a no-fly zone because I'm supposed to protect in there, these artists. That's sad, bro. That's actually tough. All because they were shooting dice. He was losing. They started exchanging shots. And take off got hit. It's always the person that's not doing nothing. It's always that person. It's crazy, bro. That's sad as hell, bro. Mm -hmm.